All right, my lovers, it's MJ from Ultra Love TV. Happy to be here with you guys. Feel free to check out the internet descriptions and things like that to find out more information about what I do at Ultra Love. So I love connecting with you guys and doing these little daily, to the best of my abilities, <laughs> daily readings. And I also offer the YouTube patrons uh, first access ad free to weekly and monthly readings and also my intuitive noodlings, which I used to do and stream live all the time. Uh, and then I had a few like security issues, so I needed to not do that anymore. And uh, I, might, I might return to that because I just love it and I love the online community it's so rad and fun and weird <laughs> but mostly I wish I wish you peace and wellness you guys and a bit of joyful sprinkle in these in what is life like does anybody actually really know what the what we're doing you know like I mean I'm all about love and peace and you know, trying evolving ourselves through empathy and compassion and emotional awareness and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to stop talking and get into the cards because there's some juicy people showing up here. So today, Sunday, July 2nd, I'm actually going to be sending a shout out, just promoting some upcoming uh, yoga events that I'm hosting at my place. And um, yeah, so Let's get into the reading. My intention with Tarot is to offer this community divine guidance and love and clarity, divine guidance and love and clarity for this amazing heart-led community of love. Oh, weird. So there's some, um, okay. Uh, this looks to me like you've dealt with a water sign, Queen of Cups reverse. So again, do what you guys like with the genders, especially with general readings, right? Uh, two of Cups reverse, Two of Pentacle reverse. Uh, something feels topsy-turvy. And obviously this is love, but this is a physical manifestation of that love. Or being out of love, because it's in the reverse, right? Out of love. Why? It wasn't balanced. Definitely weren't balanced. And... Um, maybe this queen or whoever the water sign is it wasn't they weren't putting there was no somebody was either lying but it's not it doesn't feel nefarious it just feels like somebody it just wasn't a, it wasn't balanced that's all this two of pentacles is often like balancing things out but it's in the reverse so is the two of cups so so there wasn't an economist uh situation here so if you guys are dealing with that sort of situation you know, I wouldn't be too hard on yourself. It just, these are these weird, tough lessons we have to learn in life sometimes, isn't it? Like, um, uh, 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 valuing, valuing and honoring ourselves enough to, uh, I guess, have the strength to walk away from situations w when they're not nourishing, right? If we're working on nourishing ourselves and nourishing the people in our lives. So, um... Mm. so um okay so so for some of you if you have walked away from a bit of a manipulation situation and and when i say that i often try to give everybody on like the benefit of the doubt and to see people in the light whereby most of us lie and manipulate because of wounding right we want we we hurt people hurt people like you know like they're i think blanketed quotes can be really really um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of flippant or like, um, somebody said that recently about like, when you love yourself, you'll find love. Like, well, I don't, I don't think these sort of like one liner quotes are necessarily like golden truths. And I, I, I also, and I don't know about you guys, but like, I've had moments where like there's been really like weird manipulative receptive things going on and somebody like throws down some spiritual quote that I'm that I'm suddenly like wait hold on like are you just saying that to benefit yourself or like why are you saying that and I think sometimes we say these things to actually like bypass our own responsibility I don't know what do you guys think so okay <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you've been dealing with someone who's just wasn't quite clear, 
uh, it looks like, I feel like somebody's just moving on. The hanged man reverse, the devil reverse. It's like you're cut, especially because like we recognize that these either, if there is deception and manipulation, it's, this, this is a troubled situation. This is a toxic situation. This is something potentially codependent. Uh, so uh, this, this king of swords energy, yeah, and again, do what you like with the genders. And this, if you're cross washing, this could be with the other person. But somebody's just like moving on. They're taking their things and endeavoring to go to calmer waters. And I think this is a really good thing because there is the devil here and there is a hanged man reverse, which makes me think like you're finally breaking free from stagnation. You're finally breaking free from the devil. You're breaking free from codependent tactics or, or, or addictions or people who have hardcore addictions, right? So, I mean, the devil reverse is sort of saying like, I don't think this is some hardcore Yeah, there's, so, and, and I think for some of you guys, you're not communicating anyway. There's no communication. Yeah, moving, moving on up, moving on up, moving to calmer waters, my loves. Yeah, I mean, this is, these cards are all just affirming the same thing that we got from the beginning. So that's, that's great. But this, the re, and again, if foundations aren't solid, uh, the building will fall. And this tower has already come down. I, I feel like maybe for some of you, you tried to have a new beginning and now there's a stagnation of communication. So one of these people is just moving on with their lives, moving forward. And if there were any doubt in your mind at all, this, I, I, I gotta say like that energy of breadcrumb Cause like there's legit breadcrumbs falling. Please, please give me, you know, and I'm not dissing on like true poverty and victimhood. Cause I, part of all to love as a brand is about, can we share more? And my, one of my purest desires was just like make lots of money so I could give it all away and be like, see guys, let's just share everything so that, so that we don't have to, uh, witness the, and, and, you know, like, I think a lot of us are more and more turned on by that true sense of compassion. And like, we got to help our, ourselves so that we can be functional and effective. And it's, it's a challenge. And then at the same time, no martyrdom. And to see everyone in the light and to see everyone in the power and to see, I'm really working with that as for some, some energies and dynamics in my own life where the moment I catch my mind, like thinking negative things or like going into some reactive pattern, like hold that space shift gears see that person in light they're they're in their power they get to do what they want to do they're they're going to shine their own light in their own true divine way so i don't need to worry about it and then energy comes back here and you're like oh yeah i have things i could probably do that can serve my own you know vortexual reality and so yeah this situation had to end there might have been some lying and deceiving going on this is a water and an air energy by the way but i especially with generals i wouldn't get too caught up in the it's more about those kind of overall messages let's pick a few more cards for this fun fun day there's a isn't there a song one fun day do 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 <laughs> one fine day you'll never want me for do you guys know the words i never know the words to songs but she's a drumming inside her head it's a fine it's gonna be a fine day for my lovers yes yes the golden egg i haven't seen that card in a really really long time to me it's right up there with the most bountiful energy I had one of my like early on, do you guys have dreams from childhood that you like vividly remember? This was my, one of my many, 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 many dr flying dreams. I'm like flying through the infinite cosmos. I'm like three years old or something. Um, but I'm in a maze and like there's a game in the maze. I had to keep going around like a Pac-Man or something. I like, keep going around this labyrinth maze to find these eggs. But then eventually I found the golden egg. And then I legit have had multiple things, well, mainly big, two big ones where those tr dreams from early childhood or significant times in my life 
manifested in the premonish vibratories. So I ended up manifesting a situation where I was aware that I found the golden egg. Uh, but then that story ended and that's been this, re this last few years has been this very bizarro phase of like, so I got the egg, this must be it. This must be the thing that I was searching for my whole entire life. And then it was like, woo, okay, on to the next. And you're just like, oh, that's not it. So I don't know, does that make sense to anybody? How's oh, Shazam? So um, let's just pick a few more cards, you guys. Golden Hank, let's get symbolic of. There is that, there's that nugget of wisdom. Um, just a kind of shiny rebirth, probably. Oh, this card came out earlier too. One, I've swapped one deck. I think you guys could be considering something or someone or someone's considering you. You might end up getting some, mm. this feels like kind of head hunter energy, like, um, or not. <laughs> this is somebody who's got the hats for you. Somebody who's got the hats for you is coming in. They want to sex you. <laughs> They want to sex you. <laughs> oh, God. There's th This emperor is likely to be uh, an earth sign, possibly younger than you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, let's just pick one more card. Yeah, somebody's coming in. This, this could be both, actually. This could be business life foundation connection but then somebody who's also attracted to you so somebody might come in with like a business proposition but it turns out they also kind of have the hots and then but uh, these are all upstanding characters there's clarity here so i wouldn't i wouldn't worry too much uh, uh but because of the six of cups with the the shift that you're making i would say just keep moving forward right that that forward movement is what's taking you to that next stage of life I hope that was useful or entertaining and uh, mostly I hope you guys are having an awesome day and loving you so supreme. I look forward to seeing you guys next time and uh, have an awesome day. Take care. Peace out.